Big spot welder or maybe something compact one. Just check how small is this thing compared to this beast. Actually, there is nothing to compare. You can see the difference in size. So both are working almost the same way. I've been using these for a while. I did couple battery packs on every single one and I may know some pros and cons. But to keep it as short as possible, if you would like me to choose between these two, I would go with this small spot welder. But let's start with Sunco 737G. I did couple big battery packs like 12S, 5P, 6P and some 10S battery packs. And it's just working flap. As you can set pools, you can set current and all this for $180 in promotion. So it sounds like a great deal. But all those big spot welders got huge issue. If you'd like to use those in your home flat, then you can expect that your home power breakers will just keep popping off like in my case. So I had to use this one in my office. Otherwise, it's just making me crazy. You are just doing some spot welding and boom, your home power breakers just... While with this one you are not worried about home power breakers because here you are connecting 3S LiPo battery and you are good to go. So this my spot welder is like portable one. Also, here we got the screen and we can set pulls and power. So it's just great, isn't it? But it's also not perfect. This one had huge con because, like I said, home power breakers will just keep popping off. But over here, those huge 10 AVG wires will just melt after like 10 spots. So you are doing like 10 spots and you have to wait some time till those wires will cool down and you can continue. So yeah, both got some cones actually quite big ones but i think i would go with this one because it's just driving me less crazy the best thing price is around 30 dollars so i decided to buy some spar one because this thing is just working great now closer look i have to admit that the build quality compared to price is pretty decent honestly the best thing is that we've got two protective bolts, one at the bottom and one on the top. And this is really nice touch, maybe it's simple, but some other ones which are working the same way, so we have to use LiPo, don't have those protective bolts. So over here, this is really nice touch. At the middle, we've got OLED screen, two buttons, so we can change power and other features. Here we got power button on the side. You can see some PCB. Here are MOSFETs. Huge capacitor. We can easily replace the wires because here we got the screws. Here we got XT60 connector. Here we got power output cables. Also, we can easily replace those. And here we got spot welding pins this is how they looks after at least 150 batteries so like 300 or 400 spot welds they are in really good condition so if you would like to buy this one in the back you will find spot welding module quiet long spot welding wires and quite long power input wires actually those for me are too long i recommend to short them like cut it at half because longer is wires, then there is higher resistance and the temperature will rise even more. So I cut it at half and this is how short cable I've got. I could even short it a little bit more. Now it's time for some testing. But before it's quite important thing, what battery you should use? Of course, I recommend LiPo batteries because they got insane discharge power. And of course, charger to charge your LiPo. This one is one of the best, actually, for newbies, because it's super simple to use. So here we got some LCD screen, we can set couple options. Here we got USB-C input, so you have to connect it to your USB QC charger, so a simple charger. And here we got power output, so 2S and 3S balancer ports. And we have just to connect our 3S battery to 3S balancer port and it's pretty done so super simple to use and the price is like 12 dollars so now we've got some set which help you to make some nice lion battery packs but will it work let's find out always be careful when you're using lipo batteries because those are crazy powerful and can go boom if you do any mistake so is everything over here okay yeah so let's connect battery yep it's working on the side we've got power button, so let's hit it. 
and it's turned on so here you can see input voltage where it is on auto and we can see energy power so it's almost 100% now it's 91 so we can of course decrease this value increase but yeah I know you want to see if it's working so let's use for now like maybe 80% of the power here I got couple pure nickel plates in different thickness we'll start with 0 1 here we got 0 15 and here is fat one 0 23 nickel plate thickness 0 10 spot solder set to auto so every single time when two rods touch this nickel plate it will do spot weld so let's do it shit yep so 80% is a little bit too powerful for this super skinny nickel plate I never used those super skinny 010 but holy shit Jesus Christ there man yep we, we use a little bit too much power we even got hole in this paper shit so let's maybe change it to something like 40% to be honest I never used those skinny nickel plates so I was surprised like you bros okay let's do it again now we've got 40% power oh shit it's still too powerful check this one out this nickel plate almost evaporate yep I am not able to do it again I have to use pillars 5% power No, now we have to increase the power so as you can see we can easily set any power we like and this thing is crazy powerful now let's set it to something like maybe 15 percent three two one oh nice this spot weld will be good oh shit i need to use a little bit more but yeah you can see that you have to find this magic spot i cannot tear this second thing so not bad yeah and it was 15 percent are you serious okay so something i think around 20 percent will do the job so now let's switch to this thicker one where it is 0 15. see this one is regular thickness mostly used so let's check at first at 15 percent but i think it will be not enough i'm quite sure yep it will be not enough 15 percent yeah, we need to use like maybe 22 percent. Oh, shit! Let's use 25. If 25 percent will be good for this 015 thickness, then this thing is amazing. No, but it's still amazing. <laughs> 60 percent power, nickel plate thickness 015. Three, two, one. Oh, that was powerful. And yeah, now it will be not a way to remove it. Like, holy shit. So yeah, you have to find for every single thickness this magic spot. So this is how it looks at 60%. I think I used it a little bit too much power. Like 50% could be a good choice. But yeah, you can see that the proof that this portable spot welder is working perfect you can set easily the power and when you find the magic spot you can do easily any kind of big battery pack so now it's time for 023 this is fat nickel plate like like fat oh geez it is even hard to cut this one with the pillars okay i know bros no proof no glory 023 023 as you can see no joke so this one is super fat and now this is this is the moment when the wires will get pretty hot because now you, you are using over i think 100 amps nickel thickness 023 80 percent power and you can just watch how the cables will just jump <laughs> holy moly so this is how it looks after one spot weld 80 percent power and nickel thickness 0 20, 0.23 but yeah we have to use more power more power so no problem 
we can set like I usually using 90% or maybe even 92%. So we now almost using whole juice from the battery. If battery can deliver now 120 amps, then for this wires will go 120 amps. I can feel already that the rods are getting pretty hot. So, three, two, one, boom. <laughs> you saw how the wires will just jump. So, this is how it looks. Oh, crazy hot, ow. So this is this new spot. 92% power. And did it work? No, not yet. We have to use 95% power. <laughs> Shit, I messed it up. So yeah, you can just mess it up and just pick it, the rod, and nothing will happen. Shit, you have to do it like this, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, and as you saw, this thing was under the spot welder because I am, you know, too enthusiastic right now. And I am glad that we've got those covers, which I mentioned. Otherwise, we'll have some big short circuit. Now we've got 96% power. And yeah, we still couldn't do it. So let's use 99% power. But I never used that kind of power before, to be honest. And this 23 thickness, this is really thick. Well, no surprise that actually this spot welder cannot do it. But let's hope for the best that it will. So, 3, 2, 1, boom! Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> we had some magic spoke, so yeah. Holy moly, man! This is some decent power. And here we got this new spot. So you can tell that it's overheated right now. But yeah, it still couldn't do it. This is maximum power, so holy shit. But yeah, no surprise. This 23 thickness, this is really big and you have to have some really high quality spot weld to make it. But those most common ones, 115, we haven't had any problems to weld it. So as you can see, I just proved that this thing is working great. If you would like to make your battery pack quiet easily and cheap without worries that your home power breakers will just pop out, then I recommend this thing. It's quite decent, as you can see. For $30, the wires are now, yeah, we use full power from the battery. They are pretty warm right now, but yeah, after spot wells like spot 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 you will have to wait some time but i think it's still worth for the price what do you think bros <laughs>